This video will explain how to apply for CPV registration in the user portal. You can skip to the relevant chapter using the time codes listed above. Follow these steps to sign up to the CPV user portal. Start by visiting the website above. portal.cpv.vic.gov.au forward slash sign up. Before you are able to join the portal, you will be asked to read and accept this message which says you are required to enter your full name as it appears on your current Victorian driver's license. Once you have read, click I understand. A new screen will prompt you to enter your title, first and family names, and your current email address. Accept the terms and conditions. Click Create Account. A confirmation will tell you your password has been sent to your email. Using the password and username, log into the user portal. Follow these steps if you have driver accreditation. Click Yes if you currently hold or have previously held driver accreditation or driving instructor authority. And then select the relevant qualifications. Select No if you're not representing a company or cooperative, a partnership or an office holder in an incorporated association. Enter your six digit accreditation and enter your date of birth. Click to validate the details entered. Follow these steps if you don't have driver accreditation but want to register vehicles under your personal name. Select no if you're not representing a company or cooperative, a partnership or an office holder in an incorporated association. And click no if you don't hold driver accreditation. Enter your date of birth and phone number. Enter your physical and postal address. Click if your postal address is the same as your physical address. You must now provide a clear scan of your Victoria driver's license or passport. Click choose file and select the required document. Enter your identity document number. Click save my details. Follow these steps if you are representing a company. Select yes if you are representing a company or cooperative, a partnership, or an office holder in an incorporated association. Enter your Australian business number, business name and phone number. Enter your date of birth. Enter your physical and postal address. Click if your postal address is the same as your physical address. Click save my details. You will now be asked to confirm the details of the personal entity legally responsible for any vehicles. If the details are correct, Click Set Contact Details. Click None of the above are my current contact details if there are no details or if they are incorrect. Enter your phone number and physical and postal address including street, suburb, postcode and state. Click Set Contact Details. Follow these steps to register your commercial passenger vehicle. Under My Vehicles in the User Portal, select Register Vehicle. Select Yes if you are the owner of the vehicle. Select Booked Only for Hire Cars or Rideshare Services. Enter your plate number, vehicle identification number, the make of your vehicle, enter the model of the vehicle and the body type of the vehicle. Answer yes or no when asked, do you intend to use the vehicle to provide wheelchair accessible services? Click submit. Select unbooked and booked for taxi services. Answer yes or no when asked if you will use the vehicle to provide trips hailed from the street or from a taxi rank. Answer yes or no when asked if you will buy or lease a fare calculation device that meets specifications. Select yes or no if you will buy or lease an approved security camera. Select yes or no if you will buy or lease an electronic terminal to process MPTP transactions. Select yes or no if you will book and attend a Vic Roads taxi inspection appointment to obtain taxi number plates. Select yes or no when asked if the vehicle has a registration plate attached. Enter your plate number, vehicle identification number, the make of your vehicle, the model of your vehicle and the body type of the vehicle. Answer yes or no when asked do you intend to use the vehicle to provide wheelchair accessible services. Click submit. A payment screen will prompt you 
to enter your cardholder name, the card number, the expiry date, and the CVN located on the rear of the card. Click Pay Now. You should now see all of your registered vehicles.